Are you looking for something for home security? Maybe even a baby monitor? We've got the ALG 1080p Wi-Fi camera. The ALG 1080p camera is available for £35.99 from Amazon.co.uk. So this is the box that the camera came in. Uh, just a very bog standard box, Wi-Fi smart camera. Nothing really to it, just gives you the model number down there and the pair that you need to pair with the camera. Let's pop the box open, let's have a look see what we get in the box. So we've got ourselves a plug, which we just quickly pop out of the bag there. So just uh, I plugged the pair of the camera, it's got USB on the bottom of it. You get the camera itself, which has got two aerials on the back. Uh, it's got a network port, so we can plug it through Ethernet, or you can use Wi-Fi if you want to. There's a micro SD slot there as well, and we got the micro USB connector to put pair into the camera. We also have the model of the camera underneath and the QR code, which we'll need to scan. So we can use the camera. There's also a reset button there as well, so if you've got any issues with the camera, we can reset the camera there. Uh, do we get anything else with it? We just get a little instruction manual. And we've got another box in here as well, which should have the pair of cable in there. Just check. Yep, so we've got a micro USB cable in there. Uh, we've got wall plugs some screws and a little tool so we can reset the camera if we need to. So now we've plugged the camera in, plugged it into the wall, uh, it's just starting to move around now. So I can actually feel the head of the camera moving around, yep, yeah. uh, it is definitely moving. So the camera should be booted up now. So it should be a matter of installing the app that we need to on the smartphone. We will scan the QR code and hopefully we'll be able to see this camera. So let's do that right now. So in the user manual it tells you that you need an app called YCC365. We've got a couple of QR codes here, one for Android, one for the iOS. Uh, you can do a search in the app store to find it, but we will scan the QR code and see if that works. So let's quickly try and scan the QR code. Yep, immediately it's picked it up. So if we go through that, there's the software that we need. So we'll quickly install that now and accept that. So it's just over 24 meg in file size. Shouldn't take long to download. Okay. So the software is now on my phone. Right, so the software is on my phone now, so we need to sign up to be able to use the camera. So if I quickly sign up here, I'll go and put my details in now. Okay, so we'll try and set the device up now using the app. So if I add the device, we go to Intelligent Camera. We will select device add in by scanning the code. So we just scan the barcode on the bottom of the camera. Uh, having pressed set key. Okay, so we'll press set. Now it wants the Wi Fi password, so I will quickly put that in now. Okay, so the password's in. If we press next. Okay, so it wants the QR code off the camera. Let me just quickly scan it. Right, so after um, putting in the Wi-Fi network information, we've come to this screen now, which is saying scan the QR code. That is pretty much all we're getting on the screen at the moment. So we've got a QR code there. But I haven't heard a beep voice, so if I press no voice is heard, it's just telling me to ensure that the power supply of the device has been connected, which it is, and ensure the distance between the QR code and the device is 10 to 20 centimetres. Now I would presume that, that would give you like the camera kind of picture rather than just a QR code. So 
I'm currently sitting there filling the bait with this and uh, I'm struggling a little bit to get this recognised so let's continue messing about and let's see if we can uh, actually get this device added to the mobile phone. So after trying to get the device to be picked up by the mobile phone using the QR code, unfortunately I just could not get it working. As you can hear, the camera has just booted back up after doing a quick reset on there. So we're going to try and do the wireless intelligent edition. So let's try and do that. So I've done that. So it wants my Wi-Fi password again. Let's quickly put that in. Okay, so we've put that in. It is now searching Please for the device. Right, as you just heard the camera then saying it's please wait Wi-Fi connecting. So we will see if the device actually gets picked up by the please phone wait now. For so it says please wait for internet connecting. So it seems like we're going a little bit further doing it this way, rather than scanning the QR code. Internet connected. Welcome oh. to use cloud camera. Okay, and that seems to have worked. Um, not interested in that, so we'll close that. Okay, so we finished there. And there is the camera, looking at my very messy bedroom at the moment. So I'll discard that. Hello? Hello? Okay, so you might be able to hear that, it might be a little bit quiet. So you can actually hear me talking through the app. Right, let's see what we can do. So camera, we, is that to change the name? Yep, so you can change the name of the camera. So if I just put his bedroom for the time being. Um, we will, I presume we just go back now. Yep, so that's renamed. I'm not in Beijing, so we'll get rid of that. And we will go London and Dublin. So our device is on. Device off at, so by the looks of it you can set scheduled times to turn the camera off. Uh, I'd prefer not to do that to be honest. Uh, so my cloud service plan has expired. Right, so it looks like you can pay for cloud storage. Yep. So at the bottom of there, so it's $6.99 a month. Or you can pay $199 for the year. But uh, that doesn't prevent you from actually viewing the, the camera from your mobile phone. So you don't really need a cloud service. Um, at the moment there's not an SD card installed. So that's where all the footage will be, be stored. So there's not one installed at the moment. Play videos from... Yeah, so we can play the videos from the SD card if we installed one. Or we can get it from the cloud, but obviously because we've got no cloud service, we haven't really got that as an option. Uh, we've got HD video, uh, we've got buzzer. Not sure what the buzzer does, maybe it's for motion detect, maybe it makes a noise just to alert you that it's picked something up. Microphone switched on. Night vision mode, uh, we'll leave that on auto, so basically when, it, when it's light, it will turn the night vision mode off. Uh, rotate the feed 180 degrees so I presume that's going to be quite useful if you mount the camera to the ceiling but we'll leave that off got the Wi-Fi device details so it just basically gives you all the firmware information the model of the camera and that looks like it is about it so if we come out of the preferences so we can see the live view of the camera there um, so you can hear me talking at the moment, so if I hold this, say, hello? hello, so you can probably hear that through the camera, testing the audio on the camera, yep, so the audio comes through fine, uh, okay, snapshot, which is quite useful, and we can mute the sound as well. Right, testing the audio again. Yep, so because the camera's next to me and I'm talking, the audio's coming through my mobile phone, but you can actually mute that sound, which is quite useful as well. So there's the record button there, I've just pressed that, and that's manually recording there. 
so I've just stopped that, and I presume that is saved on my mobile phone somewhere. So that we can knock it to full screen. And as you can see there, if I swap my finger across, that moves the camera, so if we move it back again, as you can see it moves across quite nicely. Let's see if we can go up and down. Okay, so we can look up. And we'll try and go down now. Yep, yeah, it's finally gone down. It took a few swipes there to get to move down, but it, it did eventually move down. Okay, so that's currently in night vision mode. So let's see if we can switch it from night vision. Okay, so that's what it looks like without the night vision on. Uh, it actually looks decent quality. So let's quickly run through some of the benefits of this camera. It is a 1080p camera, so the resolution is very good on the camera. Um, another benefit is that it's got Wi-Fi as well as Ethernet on the back as well. Personally, for me, I prefer to use a cable with anything to do with cameras, just for the stability of the connection. Um, you've also got the micro SD card slot on the back as well, which means that you've got footage stored locally as well, so you can pull the card out and put it into a PC and download footage. Uh, another nice feature is that you've got two-way audio on the camera as well, which basically means that once you've got the app on your phone, you can remote in and you can talk through the camera. The camera has got night vision as well, and it'll automatically switch in between day and night. So as soon as it kind of detects that there's not much light about it, it'll switch to night mode. Something else very good with this camera as well is that you've got pan, tilt and zoom. So basically, if you set the camera like there, all this camera can see is basically what's in front of it. With pan, tilt and zoom on the mobile phone app, you can move the head of the camera. So if it's sat in this position, you can move on your phone and you can move this head around. So it could be facing in this direction, that direction. You can even look up with the head as well. It's compatible with iOS and Android as well. So whether you're an Apple fan or an Android fan, you can use this camera. One thing to be careful of, it's 2.4 gigahertz for wireless. It doesn't support five gigahertz, so bear that in mind. According to the specs as well, uh, the max memory card you can put in is 64 gigabytes. So the final verdict on this camera, it's actually very good. Uh, image quality looks bang on, looks very, very impressive. Uh, we had the issue with scanning the QR code using the app, but once we switched to the Wireless Intelligent Edition, that seemed to get the camera up and running pretty flawlessly. We also had the issue with the swiping on the phone, it was fine swiping left and right and up. When it came to swiping down, there were some issues with that. Not too sure if it's more to do with the app, more to do with my mobile phone, it could be either or, I'm not 100% sure, but it did eventually get there. It may be loser's mark just because we couldn't set it up using the QR code and the swiping issue that we had. Apart from that though, not a bad bit of kit. And my star rating for this camera will be 7 stars out of 10. If you like the content that's being created on this channel, please hit the subscribe button. You'll find it in the bottom right of each of the videos.